just uh, try not to put these command strips tightly on this so it doesn't fall off the wall. I was sick AF last night. So today is Juneteenth and my friend and I are going to celebrate Juneteenth by going to three black owned restaurants in New York City. And we're basically going to take this day instead of uh, saying fuck you to white corporations. Well, I guess we are. The best way to say fuck you to white corporations is by only shopping black owned. And I try to shop black owned as much as possible. But today we're going to go to three restaurants in New York City. I'm going to take you guys along with me. I am late. Very, very late. I was going to take my Apple Watch. This has not been charged in a month. I literally wear it as an accessory. It's terrible. Look at my fit though. It's not my favorite, but it's going to have to do. Let's go eat. to the restaurant now these are the times I wish I had a boosted I am an hour and a half late <laughs> let's just get there I have like three minutes to walk and then we'll arrive so it's pretty loud here but uh, we're at Biggie's cafe right now is it a vegan restaurant you're right uh, you're right. Uh, all I know is that it's black owned and uh, yeah. Thank you. These are the first pair that I bought. Um, but yeah, we're going to order stuff and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'll give you guys my review afterwards because it's really loud here. Oh, you do have a little shaky arm. Yeah. Um, we didn't get to eat in a timely manner. Uh, we waited uh, a little over an hour for some eggs. For some eggs and potatoes. But um, now we're on our way to the next restaurant. Yes, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Check you out later. Not later. <laughs> That's funny. So I don't want to get copyright in, but I'm probably will. We're here at the Bun Head. Um, it's about four minutes away from the last restaurant we were at. It is a Caribbean food spot. I've never eaten at a Caribbean restaurant before, and they have some vegan options. So for my vegetarians and vegans out there, there is a spot for you. Sorry the lighting is so bad in here, but I'm trying my best. Sound good. <laughs> so I'm ordering the uh, Island Spice Pool Jackfruit uh, Bao Buns. It comes in two and twelve dollars. Really affordable. The vibe is really nice in here. The lighting is terrible. Maybe I'll move it this way. That's a little bit better. and then from there we're gonna make our way to Blossoms on University tonight at 8.30. This vlog is probably so boring for y'all, but I don't know what y'all want me to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get some more shots for y'all. made it to WTC work at Brookfield Place towards the back. I am fully vaccinated by the way and so is she. We did want to have a conversation really quickly while we can about the significance of Juneteenth and why it matters so much. Basically Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom from, ensla from in like enslavement. Um, on June 19th of 1865 I think it was. Yes. Um, Abraham Lincoln freed, freed the said, slaves. Freed the proclamation. Yes he did. didn't do much. Didn't do anything. Didn't slavery do anything. existed. Terry still exists now with postmodern slavery but postmodern day foot slavery, slavery but it still existed over a hundred years after until the civil rights movement that ended in 1969. 
ended. Um, but we just want to hope. We just want to say that you should always be shopping local as much as you possibly can. We're not going to be unrealistic and say that buying from big corporations is not a realistic thing because we do it too. Like th there's, it's just the way our you know capitalistic country runs. But if you can shop local as much as you can, please do. Um, especially black local community, uh, black local uh, businesses, and there are local there are local businesses in Amazon. I'll link some sources down below for the Black Lives Matter movement, Black Lives Matter movement, and some uh, small businesses that I love and support. It. And I'll have Malachi link some down below as well um, because I shop at predominantly male centered stores and she pops shops in predominantly female centered stores. So I'll have her, um, I'll ask her for some links. I'll link them down below. So we have one more restaurant to hit. It's called the Blossom University. It's literally raining. But um, yeah, we have one more place to hit. This is the place I'm most excited about. It's a vegan restaurant and it's one that we were gonna go to before but we didn't get a chance to. Yeah. I look like I'm wearing a top hat. Uh, apologies if I'm shaky. This is my first time vlogging for real, especially with the camera like this, so um, forgiveness. But you look beautiful, by the way, on this Thank camera. You. Well, you look beautiful in general, you, but. You more, you more, babe. That's my girlfriend, we're dating. Happy Pride, y'all.